Welcome to Advanced Camping and RV's virtual tour of this new 2022 Road Trek SS Agile. This is one of the hardest to find and most desirable uh, small motorhomes on the market. This is on the Mercedes 144 inch uh, chassis and it's got the three liter diesel. Uh, it gets exceptional fuel mileage and has uh, all of the safety features and comfort features you'd expect from a Mercedes-Benz. Um, I really like how Road Trek has made this such a clean design. They've matched all of the uh, plastics and the ground effects are all painted uh, in this, um, the gray color, they call it charcoal. Uh, makes, it, makes it look really clean and sleek. Uh, and it's got these black tinted windows, which uh, also give it kind of that limousine look. Um, Road Trek is known for a lot of its off the grid technologies. Uh, so this will have lithium batteries on board and the ability to run everything from the air conditioner and the microwave down to the lighting all uh, off the grid off of the lithium batteries. If you are to take a look up on the roof, you'll see that this has 300 watts of solar. And that's really in this size van, a very uh, industry leading amount. A lot of companies are putting 150 or 200 watts. This will be, you know, almost twice that. And um, in addition to that, they use a pure sine wave 3000 watt inverter. So you've got lots of capability to invert your battery power and be off the grid. I also, you know, there's a big debate uh, whether to get a cassette toilet, a black tank for your uh, waste system. Road Trek uh, uses a macerator waste discharge pump, and uh, in this case, I believe it's around a 10 gallon tank. And the macerator hose is self storing, it's right here, and it simply just pulls right out. It's already attached. So you can put this right into the dump station and open your valve, turn your pump on, super easy and clean to, uh, to discharge. So anybody can do it, very, very simple. Also down here, you'll find the uh, um, city water connection, your propane tank, and your cable uh, hookup if you're hooking up a, a campground for cable TV. So everything is discreetly underneath this color matching panel and really gives you that magnets shut, really gives you a nice clean look. You don't have all that stuff on the outside. This next one down here is where your, um, your power cable hooks in if you are at a campsite and want to hook up to their power. And you've got a furnace exhaust vent and this Gerard uh, hot water heater, uh, instant hot water heater vent on the side. And then this is your um, uh, outside shower. So you're gonna have hot and cold water and a little uh, shower hose out here. If you want to rinse your feet off or rinse your pet off after being at the beach, super convenient. On the back, you'll notice it's uh, easy access to the storage and I'll open that up in just a minute. You've also got a towing hitch or if you want to put a bike rack something like that on the back and then I don't know if you could see this but behind the air conditioner there's an additional solar panel. So literally the entire roof is covered um, again with solar panels giving you that 300 watts. In the back here is where you will find the inverter and you've also got uh, your storage underneath the sofa and then you've got three seat belts so this will actually seat up to five people and again this is just 19 uh, about 19 and a half feet long they also include this uh, nice bug screen that will uh, zip down and you've got sorry about that someone's having an emergency uh, you've got a nice bug screen and integrated privacy uh, uh, curtains uh, built right into that shade. So the other thing I really like about Road Trek is they're ordering all the features. So this is a deluxe Mercedes chassis. You've got Mercedes-Benz aluminum wheels. Uh, you've got the power sliding door, which is very rare in, uh, in the world of van campers today. And they've included a power step, which makes getting in and out super easy. And then uh, another, before we go in, you'll see another uh, pull down, zip down screen, and you've got a magnetic entryway, uh, making it easy to get in and out. 
once you're inside, you're gonna find it to be beautifully appointed. I love these white granite countertops. I love this recessed sink and sink cover. It's a stainless steel sink, a high rise faucet. Um, this is the uh, Sterling Pearl interior. I like that the uh, induction stove is built in and it's flush, making, uh, you know, wiping down the counter and stove very easy. Uh, they're using all LED lighting inside here, and you've got a power rear sofa that turns into uh, two twins or one king size bed. And you've got this ebony cabinetry. Um, you'll notice these all have door holdups. So you can load things in and out really easily and the door isn't uh, slamming down on you. And then they've got a positive catch so it locks going down the road. In addition, they've put in a fantastic vent fan and this has uh, got a remote control. It's thermostatically driven and it also has a rain sensor built in. So that is really great. You've got the Dometic air conditioner in the ceiling, keeping you and your pets uh, cool as you're again on or off the grid and uh, all of or most all of this is controlled by their uh, firefly screen so uh, this is a, a feature they've brought into the marketplace about a couple of years ago and everything is very simple very much like a smartphone it's very intuitive we've got both lithium batteries turned on right now you know if we want to turn the inverter on we just press that button and it will power up You've got your tank monitors, you've got your lighting uh, and your thermostatic controls for your heat and your air conditioning. And you've also got your awning and your sofa controls here. So with the touch of a button, I can turn this down into the twin bed configuration. And then of course you would just simply stuff the seat belts down um, through the crack there and uh, you'd have a nice comfortable bed. And then you can stop it like I was doing there at any point. So if you want to be slightly elevated in bed, you want to read a book, you want to make it a, into, um, you know, just a lounge space, you can do that as well. And then conversion for, you know, your daytime use is super easy. So you kind of fold up your bedding. A lot of people just either tuck it away or I'll store it on this cushion over here. And you've got now your day living space made very simply. Um, there is a spot for a table right here, and this has the uh, Road Trek's new Lagoon table. Uh, and there's also, if you swivel, these two front seats will swivel. And there's a secondary pullout table right here. So you can uh, have a little dining space up front or have a nice comfortable space in the rear. Lots of cabinetry. This is one of the few models with a convection microwave. You also have a compressor driven Norcold refrigerator, which is uh, very quiet, very efficient, and is running off of batteries. So um, that, that really uh, helps. It's not using your propane at all. So a much safer coach, you don't have a propane stove, you don't have a propane fridge, so you can actually leave the propane off while you're driving down the road. All of these lockers open up. They're quite spacious. Uh, these ones in the back get a little deeper and bigger. And you can see, you know, just how big that is. Uh, really a lot of space for a small uh, van like this. And what makes this really appealing is you can take this anywhere. You can park it anywhere. You can park it in a regular parking spot. This is actually shorter than most F-150 pickups. So that really puts things into perspective for a lot of people. So you've got a nice TV here. Uh, again, you can control your sofa right from the back if you would like. You've got USB uh, or out, regular outlets back here. And then some additional storage above the TV. We've also got a little hanging space inside here. There's a little hanging rod. And right now it's got some additional cushions and pillows that the, uh, the van comes with uh, stored in there. And you've got little magazine uh, holders on the outside of the bathroom. Again, using every space is very, very smart. This bathroom is small, but well laid out. Uh, the shower, this is just a pull out uh, hose. So you can use this as a shower. It hooks right up here. You've got another little push vent for ventilation here. And then of course the toilet space and the shower curtain. 
And these bathroom doors hook in a V shape. So when you're using it, you get a little more elbow space, but still have privacy. And then when you're not, it just simply goes flush. So uh, really, really easy to use. Up front, again, fully equipped Mercedes chassis. I love this. I'm gonna just turn this on for you. Uh, you've got the Mercedes smart wheel and the 10 inch uh, touch screen. You've also got all the proximity sensors, the safety features, the heated seats, uh, the power seats with memory, um, all of that great stuff, electronic parking brake, um, all the stuff that you really would want in a vehicle. So when you put this in reverse, I'll just uh, click this up here for you. It comes up with a 360 degree view around you, which is really amazing, and the rear backup camera. And then it will also give you a front camera. If you're parking, it will actually show you what's in front of you. So if you've got a boulder or a little parking, you know, curb or something like that, you'll be able to see it as you approach it, which I think is really, really smart. So that is uh, it, coupled with uh, Mercedes M Bucks. So you've got phone connectivity, navigation, satellite radio. Um, all sorts of things. I could spend probably a whole video just on the Mercedes features. So uh, a really nice setup here. Very, very comfortable. Lots of leg room. You've got cup holders. You've actually got charging space up in the middle of the dash here. You've got some additional storage on each side. And then inside of the doors, you'll see here, you've got some large spaces where you could stuff, you know, uh, snow brush or maps or what, whatever, you will certainly find things to, uh, to put inside there. All of this is coupled with Roadtrex two year uh, warranty and Mercedes has a three year 36,000 mile warranty on their part of the van. Uh, so thank you for watching my video on this 2022 uh, Roadtrek SS Agile. And if you have any questions on this van or others, we sell uh, the best vans in the industry. We sell Road Trek, Winnebago, and Pleasure Way. We're happy to assist you with any of those brands. Please visit advancedcamping.com or give us a call today.